Today, we're cooking with kielbasa. Simmer to perfection with peppers, onions, and beer. Serve this up next to a pile of homemade mashed potatoes. Oh, and that gravy is perfection. This, folks, is comfort food at its best. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's really, so really good, is. you guys. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My beer belly loon. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. You don't know. Well, sort of. Well, no. I don't think it's beer. Uh, anyway. We're excited because yeah. this is comfort food, like we said. This it's fall, it's cool outside. It. This is perfect. This is great and for. I think we do comfort food the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we comfort our food a lot. Yes. Okay. So speaking of comfort, look at this no. kielbasa. Yes. We cut that up. Uh, Chris sliced it up, and we cut it at an angle to make it a little bigger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So kielbasa um, is Polish, and it is uh, this particular is one is a mixture of beef, pork, and uh, I think chicken. Anyway, you can you see them in the packages in the grocery um, in the grocery store all over the place. You got a butcher. Let's go ahead and yeah. put these in. This, you, this you got check a, is cooking with Polish sausage. I today. know, and I know, I know. They're Eastern European. Yes, um, <laughs> he means Czechoslovakian. Yes. Um, so anyway. If you have a butcher that you know can get some really great um, authentic oh, kielbasa, that's even better. Totally. But I'm telling you, even the store bought is so good. Yeah, because um, you fry that and get it all. I know it's mm. just loaded with flavor. Not fry it, you. You sort I'm gonna I'm gonna saute it here and I'm gonna get it nice and crispy. So this was we didn't say how much this was. This was approximately two pounds. If you're buying the links in the package, that's I when I do this, it's two of get those two, packages. Two links in yeah. the package. So I've got a couple of tablespoons of olive oil in in this. Big old, if you have a Dutch oven, this works well. You're gonna want something that's got a lid with it, um, some sort of a pot. And we're gonna just continue to cook this. I'm I, gonna. I love this recipe so much. Because normally when we cook kielbasa, we just kind of, uh, we grill it. We grill it a lot. And then we serve it next to some mac and cheese, which mm -hmm, is delicious. Mm -hmm. But or this, in the mac and cheese. In the mac and cheese. But this, oh, this has yeah. all these wonderful ingredients. It's like a stew. Yeah. So, okay, so we're gonna continue to cook this until it gets nice and crispy and browned. Um, and that'll take just uh, a few minutes. Oh, I mean, isn't wow. that? Wow, oh, I love how it gets a little, a little crispy. I know. No, I know. Now you Ooh, know. Look at all that good stuff on the bottom. I know that <laughs> it does. It kind of sticks to the bottom, but don't worry. We're gonna deglaze it. It'll come right up. Um, now I said three minutes. It, it takes a little longer than that. I, you, you know, you want to get them. Not every one of them is gonna be completely uh, charred like some of them, but you want uh, you know a good amount of them nice and crispy. Yeah. And uh, so we're gonna- Let's scream that. I scream it. <laughs> I know. Oh, sorry. Oh, dear. So um, these are, go we're gonna continue cooking in the same pot. Um, Get them all. I know, I know. This, I tell you, there is just something about the <laughs> smell of this. I can't believe you're going to put this in front of me. This cooked sausage that gets my stomach going. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to eat right that's now. That's why I can't believe you're putting it in front of me. I know, I know. That's, Look at that, y'all. Risky. So now so that, that rendered some grease, and that's good. That's what we want. So we've got, uh, this is one large onion that I sliced. We're not going to chop it. We like the little slivers. And then this is a red bell pepper that we've done the same thing. And it's kind of reminiscent of like sausage and peppers, you know, like we used to get. Oh, in New York City. yeah, totally. Mm, yum, yum, yum. Yeah, like uh, the Italian uh, sausage and yeah, the peppers. Yeah, yeah. They serve it at, at the street fairs. In the street fairs. Oh, so, so we're, good. We're going to let these cook until they get um, nice and soft, and that's going to be just like three to five minutes. Oh, my gosh, <laughs> the smell. I can't tell you guys. This with the sausage. <laughs> now, okay, so now we've got two tablespoons of chopped fresh chime. Chime. Thyme. I'm going to chime in with some thyme. Chime. I can't talk. It, I'm, the, the aroma is just getting me worked up. Okay. That looks good. It smells so good. So now just let that kind of become aromatic. Now we got two tablespoons of all purpose flour. And that's going to, we're going to create a bit of a. <laughs> oh, I, I got a nice voice oh, there. That's, yeah, that's, it's something. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the, what that gonna? What's that gonna do? It's gonna thicken it up a bit. It, it'll just it, when we add these fabulous, delicious liquids um, as it simmers, it'll just thicken it up. And it'll give you that stew kind of feeling. Yes, it will. Now you want to make sure that you let this uh, cook in over the heat for two to three minutes. You want to cook out that raw flour Look at the, taste. So we're, we're using, uh, it's October mm -hmm. if, when you're watching this, um, or for us or when it we're is, filming when it. we're filming this. But So we're using a little Texas beer, Shinerbach, and we've got Oktoberfest here, which is a Marzen style, which is like an amber, yeah. I believe. I, but I'm not going to throw that in yet, right? 
Uh, We're not going to throw that in. I'm going to do it. Oh. Well, just I'm gonna, so yes. We're, now it's time to put in the beer. Oh. Do you want to do it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So just like a cup. We, all you need like a cup, which is about three quarters of I a bottle. I love the colors too. It's very. It's, it's oh, and it matches a, that. Too. Yes. Yes. All right. so anyway, about so a cup. A cup. And so what you do is you put in about three quarters of it, and then and a little more, and then you save the rest to drink. <laughs> And then you probably bought a six pack, so then you've got five and a half more to go. Okay, so now I've got a cup and a half of good quality chicken stock. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> this right here is what really gives it that autumnal flavor. This is a half a cup of good quality apple cider. Yes, and it also gives it like a little bit of a sweet Just a taste touch. to it. That's Just what you were saying the other day. Like, why is it sweet? Well, I like, I, I, yeah, I was like, there's some sweetness going on here, yeah, I thought, which I love. Not terribly sweet. And then we've no. got a, no, no. <laughs> and then we've got a teaspoon of salt, and a, kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And um, now wow. I'm just going to crank up the heat, and we're going to bring this to a boil. Oh, when do these guys go in? Right after it comes to a oh, boil, and then we're okay. going to reduce the heat, cover it, and then we're almost ready. Oh, that smell is intoxicating. I love it. Are you ready for this? I am. <laughs> Now, speaking of intoxicating, the, the alcohol is going to um, cook out of this. You can go ahead and put it in there. Speaking of intoxicated. Speaking of, speaking of being intoxicated. Um, so, but I mean, like 99.9% .9 of it does come out. But yeah. if you literally, if, I mean, if you absolutely do not want to cook with um, any kind of alcohol, then you... You can, you can just increase, instead of doing a cup of beer, do a, another cup of, ab, um, Apple of cider? no, of the chicken stock. Oh, right. But then it really wouldn't be beer braised. No. Also. So, it'd um, just be braised. It'd be really, it'd be, still be delicious. Yeah. So, all right, now I'm going to turn this down to just a simmer. I'm going to cover this, and we're going to just let it simmer for 15 minutes. This is so easy yeah, to do. Yeah, and we're going to get that mashed potatoes going. Get the mashed potatoes going. We've got yeah. a recipe that is through the roof delicious, and then we take the lid off, let it go another five minutes, and then we chow down. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just fall into this. <laughs> Look at that. So we let, like we said, we let this simmer uh, with the lid on it for 15 minutes, and then I took the lid off and um, kept it simmering, um, and it just kind of, it it's not like a super thick gravy, it's just got an, I know, my, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep it together here. Hold okay. on, I'm, I'm gonna put together some of this. Some potatoes, mashed potatoes. These are mashed, mashed potatoes. I gotta make a little, a uh, little pool for you. A so little invention. Yes. yes. So we go. got a recipe for these mashed potatoes. They are to die for. They're super buttery, Let's super give delicious. You some too. This oh. can be made in advance too. I mean, it's actually we, we've been playing around with this, and we made it um, the other day, and the next day. Oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Leftovers. Come on are, in. Are amazing. All right, I'm gonna give you some. Give me I'm some. First, I'm just gonna give you this. Yeah. <laughs> Try not to make a mess. That's okay. Wow. Is that not just, I mean, turn on the football game or, oh. or whatever. Look at that. You want to now do a little gravy. Sunday afternoon. Um, I know I'm giving you a good heap and helping here. <laughs> little gravy. Yeah, this uh, this mm. sauce, this gravy is absolutely, let me just, you don't like me Yum. to get your onions in there, but I'm gonna give you a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta quickly make do mine because we've got to start oh. eating this. You guys, I hope you're excited about making this. Ah, I can't wait. I can't either. I don't think I'm gonna wait. I know. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, here, gosh. actually, just eat it right there, and everybody can see how wonderful it looks. There I'm you go. To. I'm gonna eat it right here. Where else would I eat it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, that is a an autumnal. Mm. October comfort, cold weather. Oh, I gotta get some potatoes. And I was thinking about this to all of our friends um, in the Southern Hemisphere, our beautiful Australian and New Zealand friends, <laughs> you don't care about the autumnal stuff. Um, <laughs> but believe me, you can have this any time of the year. Oh, you already have. Mm. Mm. It immediately just, the flavors are so comforting. <laughs> this is the loon. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're going to lose the loon. I know. This is like my favorite type of I know. I, I, I think so many people <laughs> feel that way. That something, just these comfort dishes. Oh. Smell in your house. Oh, the, and there's that. From the apple mm -hmm. cider, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. a hint, just a hint of mm -hmm. sweetness, which is. Mm. 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 
<laughs> Forget about it. That is 100,000% Luna proof. Yeah, baby! That's so good! I have a feeling we're gonna be able to sneak oh. 100,000. <laughs> Somebody said the other day, you need to record all of what, of the loon sounds yes. that he makes when he's eating. I, I think we'd have to give it an R rating. Now, you, know, if you listen to it. You guys, we love you so much. Yeah. Enjoy the cooler weather. Yes. It's finally here. Build a fire. <laughs> snuggle up next to a loved one. And make some kielbasa or braised yes, in beer. Snuggle up to a sausage. Snuggle up to a sausage. <laughs> all right, bye, everybody. We love you.